in the Bible, which we know as the so-called white man, you cannot go up gun for gun for him. This is his kingdom. You know what I mean? You pull out a, a, a nine millimeter, he pulls out a forty-five. You pull out a forty-five, he puts out a he puts out a long barrel forty-five. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You pull out a long barrel, he puts out a bazooka. You pull out a bazooka, he puts out, you know what I mean, a laser beam. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is what the, you can't go against it. He said he lives by the sword. That's his theme. Right. When you read about Esau, and the, yes, that is the so-called white man. That ain't, that ain't the Indians. They lied to you about that, too. Oh, that's the red man is the, is the Indians. Uh, no, we're not red, and I'm Indian, and we're not red. We're dark-skinned, and we're brown, just like the so-called black man. Just like our Mexican brothers, okay? So, uh, but when you read about Esau, that's his weapon. Right, right. He lives by the sword. Mm -hmm. So you you got to go out there and run out there protesting, man. They're going to they gonna pop you in the dang head, man. Right, that's his blessing. Yeah, this, you know is, I mean? <laughs> this, is, this is what they, and that's what the so-called white people are finding out. They're finding out that, wow, we they don't give a damn about us. Yeah. We, we're we're citizens. Right. We're not even the slaves, and they don't care about us. And they're waking up. Yep. You I know mean, when you go ahead. Go know, ahead. If you notice in those pictures, if you can throw that picture back up. Yeah. Uh, you, your tax dollars are at work on, on <laughs> these things right here. I mean, uh, throw that picture back up real quick. Your tax dollars are at work on those nice fancy gas masks they got on right there. You know what I mean? Those those nice shiny boots he's putting in that guy's ass. That that's where your tax dollars are going. You know, you think your tax dollars are going to schools and education? Yep. Your tax dollars are going to, look how fancy that equipment is yeah. on him. That's something you see on Batman. You yeah, know I mean? you, you know, and I was reading um, one of the, uh, they, I, I, I was uh, looking at the video. Yeah, y'all can keep playing those. Because yeah, this was coming, this is what's going, coming to America. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's an armored tank right there. That, yeah. that's, army, that's military grade yeah, right there. Yeah, you think you're going to come up against that? What are they doing <laughs> to those people over there in, uh, in, um, Syria. They finna gas them, man. They finna kill them. Yeah. That's why this thing is coming up about gassing. This is what this is what you got. <laughs> I work for you. I like that. And th this is what the most high saying. This is this is how you know and you know what uh the spirit was showing me? Th they're provoking the population. Yeah. yeah. They're provoking them. They're gonna keep doing this to where you have these militia groups. Yeah. These White militia groups that got bullets and that are trained. Mm -hmm. You got to provoke them. Yeah. You're provoking them uh, to this. And th they know they're doing this. This is all the plan. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, it's just like the Egyptians in Egypt. They, they're trying to do their little thing when the Most High is doing the work. Right. You know, they're trying to do their little uh, magic tricks. Right. The Illuminati, the high echelon, is they're trying to provoke, you know, the population to this point. So they can bring martial law. Right. So they can take away your guns, just like they did in Katrina. Right. So this is what the Most High is saying. Go to Ephesians 5, verse 15, and read that. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. Yeah, well, brothers and sisters, we need to listen to these scriptures, man. Read. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Right. Walk circumspectly. We have to walk in, in circumspect as, imagine looking through your peripheral. You would be able to see everything that's going on around you. But now it's telling you spiritually. This is how we got to walk spiritually, cir circumspectly, to where we're able to see all the things that's going on around us. Right. Not influenced by the, the, the dope, the weed, the, the drugs. Influenced by getting high. Right. right. Influenced by the highness of I'm making money. Because that's another thing. Not, I'm making money. I don't want to hurt nobody. Let me just do my job. Right. You know what I mean? And... and um, uh, what I was saying was that I was looking at the clip uh, from with the one of the videos of the girl. Um, actually, oh, yeah. actually, yeah, we're gonna play the clip. But I was reading down, and 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 the, you know, you know how they put the comments, right. and you know, one, you know, one brother was talking about. Uh, no, actually, it wasn't this video. It was the one of Anaheim, and how they sick the dogs on our, our uh, Mexican brothers and sisters. Right, right. And, you know, it was one brother uh, talking about, oh, yeah, what are they doing out there anyway? And I'm thinking, like, wow, this nigga is a slut. He, he's not only a slave. I'm thinking, like, wow, you know, uh, you got all these people, all these things going on, and you can say, why are they doing out there anyway? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is this. It's not that... He's speaking from a knowledge standpoint. He's speaking from a point of, 
you know, he was mocking our people, talking about they should be getting a green card and all this. And I'm thinking, like, they stole this country from our people. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, but that's how sellout-ish <laughs> and ignorant they got our people against their own people. Right. You know, instead of instead of really understanding that, you know, yes, they're trying to fight for something right, but it's through ignorance. But not in the sense of, hey, uh, you need to be doing it the right way, buddy, and... And when America wasn't established the right way, and this is it, it kind of made me really, really upset because they were sick of the dogs on there and pumping them with pellet bullets. And I'm thinking, like, wow, this is why we have to wake our people up, right? Mm -hmm. This is why we have to, you have to walk circumspectly. Go ahead, read that. See, then, that was, so. go ahead, read. See, then, that you walk circumspectly. Uh huh. Not as fool. Not as what? Not as fool. Not as what? Not as fool. And this is why, we're, we're brothers and sisters, we have to understand. Not as foolish. Stop listening to these religions, man. Stop listening to these churches that everything's going to be all right. And Jesus loves. Jesus does love. That's why everything's not going to be all right. He's making this transition. The prophecies are already set. And uh, in this transition, it's got to be hardship, it's going to be turmoil. It's going to be chaos. So this is what the Most High is saying. Read. But as wise. But as what? As wise. As, as wise. That means that we have to understand what's happening. We have to understand what's going on. Uh, uh, we have to understand the signs of heaven, like it said in Jeremiah 10 and 2. Go ahead. Verse 16. Read. Redeeming the time. Uh-huh. Because the last days are evil. Right. Because the, the, the days are what? Evil. Right, read that again. Did you read 16 right? Because Verse the days 16. are what? Redeeming the time. Uh-huh. Because the days are evil. Right, the days are evil because we're in those evil days. We're in those evil times where all these prophecies have to come to pass. It, it, it has to come to pass because why? It's going to separate the clean from the unclean, number one. And it's going to show you that the most high word is true, that it's been true since the beginning time. So this is what they're not telling you. This is what they're not showing you. And I, I was going to hold on this, but let's get it. Go to uh, the, Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah uh, 6 really quick. Jeremiah 6 and 14. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 14. Read that. They have healed also the hurt. Read, read uh, 6 and 13. Verse 6 and 13. Uh -huh. For from the least of them... Even unto the greatest uh -huh. of them, everyone is given to covetousness. Right. Now, I want to go, I want to read, let me see. I wrote down 6 and 14, but I want to go to 6 and, uh, let's go, uh, read, read 14, and I'm going to go to the other scripture that, that I want to get. Go ahead, read 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. They have healed also the hurt. Of the daughters of my people slightly. Uh huh. Saying, peace, peace. Right, and you were bringing that out. Go ahead and bring that out, Thawam. Oh, no, that was, uh, was that First Thessalonians? Uh, right, but read it right. again. They have healed also the hurt of the daughters of my people uh -huh. slightly. Uh huh. Saying, peace, peace. Right, now, the, the reason why I said I wanted to get the other scripture, because it goes into who is telling them that. Right, right. But it says slightly. But it, we're going to go to the other scripture, it tells you these false prophets. These right. false teachers, they're healing the people. They're healing, uh, so-called healing your mind, saying there's going to be peace and everything's going to be all right, and we, we need to just come together and pray. We, we, this is, we, we, when you pray, remember this, okay? And I hope y'all listen. When y'all pray, you're praying that God's kingdom comes on earth as it is in heaven. You're praying for this. You're praying that the Most High unleashes these angels and that the hand of the Lord comes against this wicked kingdom. You're not praying that this kingdom coincides. Remember that. So let's not be fooled. So when you see these things going on, this is what you're praying for. You're praying for the destruction. You're praying that the prophecies come to pass. So, so uh, th this is how the false prophets have deceived you. Read that part again. Slight. Come on. They, they have healed also the hurt of the daughters of my people slightly, uh -huh. saying, peace, peace. Read. When there is no peace. Right, and this is what the Most High is trying to warn us. There is no peace, brothers and sisters. There ain't going to be no peace. There ain't going to be, it, 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 it's time 
for the birth of the righteous to come forth on this earth. It's time for the, the pain, the suffering, the working till you're 90 years old and, 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 and still working after that. You got people, man, 80, 80 years old, man, ain't living off of crumbs. You got the government that has controlled the water, the electric, the air. They have controlled everything to monopolize off of the people and to make you what they call a slave. They, 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 this is not living. This is not living. The, the living is Christ coming over and destroying this regime and bringing earth to where it needs to be, bringing it to its true peace. You, you got something? Yeah, I want to get that uh, Amos 5.18 real quick. Yeah, go ahead. And, uh, I'll, I'll just read it real quick. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right. So, you know, y'all, you got these preachers sitting up there, oh, Jesus is going to come back and, and, and do all these great works and everything. No, when Christ comes back, he's killing. When Christ comes back, he's destroying the righteous. He's destroying those that did not want, or he's destroying the unrighteous. He, mm -hmm. He's going to destroy those that wanted to say peace, peace. They wanted to, to heal the daughters of the people slightly by saying, oh, just just pay your tithes and, and come to church every Sunday and you'll be saved. Say the sinner's prayer and you're getting in. You know what I mean? He's coming to destroy all that. He, the day, it says the day, of the, door, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So that's, that's, when, that's when, when the end is coming. That's when the destruction is coming. And uh, I had another one. Um, I don't know yeah. if you had this. No, no, go ahead. Ecclesiasticus. But uh, it's 39 and 28. Yeah, we're going to go there. But right. hold on. Okay. We're gonna, we're def you know, we definitely got to go there. <laughs> uh, let me see. We got 20 minutes. All right, go ahead. Go to uh, Jeremiah 8, verse 10. And this is the scripture I wanted to get with that. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Uh huh. Therefore will I give their wives unto others uh -huh. and their fields to them that shall inherit them. Right, and then Mosiah is talking about the destruction here. You brothers and sisters can read that from the top. Go ahead. For every one from the least, even unto the great, read, is, is given to covetousness. Read, and, that, and that, that's when you, uh, like we went over the political aspect, when you look at how this country is set up, it's, it's set up off of money. Right. You know what I mean? That's why, once again, they charge you for the water. They, have, uh, char they charge you for the electric. And brothers and sisters, when I mean charge you for the electric, you're thinking like, well, yeah, we got to pay for water. We got to pay for electric. <laughs> no, the, they have taken over all these things to where instead of giving natural resources free as it's supposed to be, uh, uh, like well, you going to do the little studying about Nicole Tesla about making energy uh, free, right. about getting energy from the earth, right, uh, using uh, vehicles that don't destroy the earth, there is a such energy. Right. So they, they yeah, but they want to monopolize and make money off of you. No, they're not supposed to put up boundaries of the water and, and put fluoride in your water, kill you, and charge you for that death. That's what they're doing. They're putting fluoride in your water and charging you to kill yourself. Right. So all these things that you might think is good amenities that's taking care of you as Americans, guess what? All these things, uh, th they've taken them and, and, and controlled them to keep you as a servant, as a slave. But it ain't meant to be that. We're not meant to just work all your life and die. You know what I mean? Then come back and work again. You know right. what I mean? This earth, the scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. That's not what the kingdom's going to be about. The most I said the kingdom is about is going to be about freedom, about righteousness. So uh, go ahead and read on. From the prophet, uh -huh. even unto the priest. Read, it said from the what? From the prophet, read. even unto the priest. But it's going to tell us how. How do they deal? Read on. Even unto the priest. Read. Everyone dealeth falsely. How? Read. Verse 11. For they have healed the hurt of the daughters of my people slightly. Uh-huh. Saying, peace, peace. Read. When there is no peace. Right. And this is what the Most High is saying. This is how they have healed your heart. Why? Because you love the lies. A lot of our people love lies. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear, you, they don't want to hear that Christ is coming back and Wait a minute, uh, 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 there's not going to be no more government cheese? You're trying to tell me I ain't going to be able to look to Obama no more, to, to the Bushes, to the, or the presidents? Wait a minute. You know, it goes back to like when we were in Egypt. Right. They put their trust in Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. 
You know? Yeah. See, it was so much so when we got out of Egypt, they were still begging for the the scraps and the crumbs that were getting back in Egypt. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's what I... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, it's like, you know, they got into the promised land or into the wilderness, and, you know, the Most High is dropping food out of heaven for them, and they're, well, back in Egypt, we had we had leeks and onions, you know? Right, right. Like, so what? You right. know what I mean? Y'all going to be begging for Taco Bell in the wilderness, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. And, and that's our people right now. They they want they want the scraps that the white man gives them. They want the scraps that this society has to offer them, the, the, the off-scourings and the, the crap that is heaped on you. You like it. Right. Now. You like the, you know I mean? the uh, working four jobs at $5 an hour. Right. They, they like that. They feel free. It's they, comfortable. And, right. You know, there's and, and, no faith and, involved. You know what I mean? Right. I don't, I don't have to worry about if it's going to come from some unknown source. I just have to worry about when. You right. know what I mean? And, and with the Most High, He wants you to believe in Him. Right. You know what I mean? And, our and He don't... wants to free us from that. Right. This right. is, uh, once again, uh, I, I, you know, when you walk into Walmart, you walk in, uh, specifically Walmart, I walk in there, man, you got old people, whether black or white, whether or Israelite or Gentile, you got brothers, man, people just old, working. And I'm looking at them like, is this is where your country has left you? You got veterans around the, the you go, go downtown, man. Yeah. You look at our people that have sacrificed their life for this country. It's, it's I'll die to yeah. be American. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll die for this country. And what yeah. does America do to you? You're on the corner with one leg begging for food. Yep. That's what I'm going to say. It's all people the system let down. You know, they put right. all their trust in that system. And as soon as they were useless to the system, it let them down. You right. Know what I mean? It ain't saving them. It ain't giving them a sandwich while they're over there by the shelter. You know what I mean? It's not giving them a blanket at night or a bed to stay in. Right. It oh, no, 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 let me no. correct you, brother. They do give them a sandwich, <laughs> and they do give them a, 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 a shitty, excuse my language, shelter. And right. that's what they do. Go to these shelters. Yeah. Go to these shelters, brother. Horrific. Hor horrific. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many brothers we know that's been in shelters and, and living like that? They're not doing nothing for them. When you look at the history of, of warriors and regimes that took over kingdoms, those people were to take the spoils. Right. Those those people that went in there and oh, took uh, Hussein's house, mm -hmm. they were supposed to get that bullion for themselves. Right. They were supposed to get that gold and Jews and riches for themselves. America's like, nope, bring it right back here. Mm -hmm. You get nothing but your little, uh, I don't know how much the military get paid. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, they, they little peon money, yeah. and we'll take the riches and really be rich because now we're controlling the masses with the riches, with the oil. Right. So this goes beyond, man. This wickedness goes, it, it, brothers and sisters, you have to do your research. You have to study. You have to really understand when the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, you have to really understand what's going on here in this world and why, why it, 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 it's glorious that we're in these times. It's sad, you know, you, you, you know, people got to go through death and destruction, but it has to, it has to happen because the most high is making that transition. So read on. Read where you're at. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. Were they ashamed? Were no, that's it on that. Now go back to go back to Ephesians. And of course, uh, we, we're probably not going to be able to go deep into this because of time, but we got a lot of scriptures to bring out in this, man, mm. uh, in the signs of the times. Go ahead and read that where you're at in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5, chapter 5 and verse 15. Read. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Read. Not as fools. Read. But as wise. But at what? As what? But as wise. Read. Redeeming the time. Uh huh. Because the days are evil. The days are evil. Read. Verse 17. Uh huh. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. Read. But understanding. B but what? But understanding. Now, how do we get that understanding? First of all, we got to study. The scriptures say, study to show thyself approved. We have to go into this knowledge and be able to really understand what's going on. Once again, this ain't what the church has taught you, a fairy tale book. This is reality. It's reality coming. It, it, it happened in the past when we didn't listen. He put us in captivity and slavery. He put us in the conditions of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, because we didn't adhere to his word. All the way to all those different captivities from, from the Babylonians, the Persian and Medes, the Greeks, the Romans, all the way up to now. We did not listen. So the Most High is telling us, listen, adhere, wake up, because this is not a fairy tale. It's not a comic book. These things are happening. You know what I mean? Wait till you in a place that they run up in and shoot. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the Most High is warning us. Read. But what? The, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, and that's what we have to see. 
We have to come back and understand what the will of the Most High is. Right. What, what what do we what do I need to do to get my spirit right? You know what I mean? What the, how do I get the strength to put down that the, the weed and stop relying on a cigarette to get me day by day? Right, right. My God is a stogie, and 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 without that, oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the day. Or without drinking yourself to in a, oblivion. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, what uh, uh, to popping pills? How do I get my spirit strong when I don't have to rely on these things? Where I can't rely on the spirit. Right, right. How, how do I, I guide, do these how things? How I guide my family and make sure they're safe in these times. Right. How do you know I mean? teach my kids and what do I need to do to get my kids out of uh, following a corrupt regime in society right. and being programmed and to be a robot? How do I do that? What do I need to do to start following the Most High? So, so, so they don't got to live the life you live in. You know? Right. <laughs> exactly, man. And most of all, uh, since we got a few, uh, few minutes left, go to Ezekiel, back to Ezekiel. Because we, I said we would touch on this. We went over it dealing with the mark of the beast. But check this out. Go back to Ezekiel 9, verse 4. Hold that, Ephesians. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads. Right, so this is that mark. We, we touched on this. We touched on the mark. We touched on the mark of the beast. But this mark is the mark of the knowledge of the Most High. He said, go set this mark in their minds. Now we're going to talk about, the scripture is going to show you what is going to protect us. What is going to keep us from that destruction? What is going to keep us from being at the wrong place at the wrong time? Right. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's many places uh, uh, that uh, I found out on the news that, that they were other places that wanted to do the same thing. Yeah. That there are other crazy cats that that day they wanted to do those things. Yeah. So th this is what, and you know why, personally I think, personally I think, now this is personal, that this is, <laughs> you know, like Paul said, not, not, not the scriptures, but personally I think that uh, the CIA set that up. That's what I think because yeah, because he does look all dazed in the in the courtroom guy, like he just snapped out of something. This like, guy looks like he's on drugs, yeah, man. Yeah. And he looked and um, they were doing one little segment on the news and they were talking about well, could he be on drugs? Because right. they had gave him medication and they were like, it, 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 it's highly unlikely that hmm. they would give him medication then he wouldn't be coherent during the trial or right, during right. during the you know the the uh, the opening of his trial. So. Uh, I was like, when I looked in his eyes, and all I seen was somebody on drugs. Yeah. Somebody out of their mind. And somebody that was hypnotized. You know what I mean? And then what's crazy is they didn't kill him. You know right. What I mean? you, 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 you mouth off to the cops in your, on a traffic stop, and they want to pull you out of the car right. and blow your brains out. I'm surprised they didn't <laughs> yeah. shoot this guy 50,000 times. I, I was watching the news report. Right. He came out with guns in his hands. Right. And they just, they just, they just subdued him. Right. You know what I mean? Like, Usually they shoot you 50,000 times if you just holding them. Yeah. Yeah, and, and <laughs> it's really strange. They, they shot the man in New York for a cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. They naked. just shot the guy in Han Anaheim right. for running. Yeah. For running with no gun, no pistol. They shot him for running. Right. So, yeah, it's really, really strange. Yeah. And and uh, where you at? Read on. And Let's set a mark upon the, for uh, upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Uh -huh. For all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. And these people, these brothers and sisters that's where, that are going to receive the knowledge in their minds are the only ones that are fed up, that are tired, that are sick and tired of the drugs, the homosexuality, the death, the, the chaos, the child molesting, the, the, uh, the politics, the, the false dreams that America has given them yeah. and seeing through all their lies, all these lies they're seeing through them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the ones that were going to receive the mark in their foreheads. Right. Like you got that brother, I, f I forgot his name, the, the Marine dude, he came back from, from war over there. Right. And he, he's coming in the streets of New York watching his the people he went over there to protect. Right. You know what I mean? Get beat up and, and shot at by the cops. You know what I mean? And he's he's standing there trying to protect them from the police here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And and it, yeah, that, that's, that's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's on YouTube, the one uh, military guy. He yeah. was trying to stand in the middle. But they're, they're realizing. Go on YouTube and type in uh, 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 you know what? I gotta find out what specifically it is, but you go on YouTube and t type in the military knows. Mm -hmm. 
uh, military secrets. Mm. But in there, uh, you got many of these military people. They're crying on there. I was looking at one where they were. She was. She was crying. A guy and, and a woman was crying, talking about they're setting up all these things to get ready for what is going on. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the mass people that they're going to have to put in these camps. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the thing is that our people are still asleep. Yeah. They're not aware. You're not aware of what's going on around you, what's happening. You're either high or high on your drugs or high on life, and you're not really aware in the spirit that the Most High is warning us. He's telling us what's happening. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 5. Go ahead. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, Read. Go ye after him. Through the city and smite. Read. Let not your eyes spare. Read. Neither have ye pity. Right, and this is what the Most High, the Most High, when we went over Revelations about the mark, you right. go to Revelation seven. He said, "Hold back the destruction, the full destruction, until the hundred and forty-four thousand are sealed in their minds." Right. So right now we got uh we got these prophecies where Christ said, and we're we're gonna touch on that in full. Next show, I don't want to touch on it a little bit, but Christ said that these were the beginning of the right. That's the beginning of woes, the yeah, exactly. beginning of sorrows. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's what I was looking at at this Ezekiel. Um, we got three minutes, but yeah, uh, it's Ezekiel seven and twenty-four. Yeah. And he said, "Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease." Mm -hmm. So he's gonna cut down all that pride of America. He's gonna cut down all that gay day parades. That's all gonna be cut down. He says, uh, and their holy places shall be defiled. It says, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. He said, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests, and the counsel from the ancients. And that's what's going to happen in the, uh, these end times. Y'all going to be running around in these streets, getting beat down by the cops, being, being hit by these tornadoes, these, these pestilence, these famines. Y'all going to be, be being hit by these destruction. The Most High is coming. And then you're going to be trying to look for, for Houston Media Source and saying, what should we do now? <laughs> you, know, right. you know what I mean? Where, right. where are those brothers that was with the beards that we were making fun of that, that was going to help us get saved from all this, from all, this, all these tsunamis and from being in the wrong place at the wrong time? But you know what? The, your, your cable is going to be cut off. You know right, what I mean? Right. Your, your electricity is going to be, gonna be out. Yeah. It's going to be too late. That's why, you know, that there, there is a time for that. Uh, so, so this is that time to wake up to look at the signs. This is what the most, this is what the Most High is trying to wake our people up to, brothers and sisters. You better, you better uh, think about your kids. Think about your kids, man. So go. Uh, let's finish it up. First Thessalonians five twenty one. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse twenty one. Read. Prove all things. No, I'm I'm sorry. It's uh, First Thessalonians when they shall say. Uh, it's, it's theirs. You should be able to find it right. Five. Come on, we only got a minute here. It's first of the Sony and... Um, it's a... Uh, Let's see here. Five and three. Yeah. First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse three. Three. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up, cometh upon them. Okay. And with that, brothers and sisters, we thank you for tuning in. We'd like to say shalom. Shalom. shalom.